All right, we're hearing that uh, the Jadarpur University in Kolkata has erupted in protests. Uh, Jadarpur University once again being rocked by student agitation with the Vice Chancellor Suranjan Das being holed up in his office since Thursday afternoon. Since yesterday afternoon, students uh, in fact undertaking a sit-down demonstration right outside the Vice Chancellor's office opposing the state government's decision to do away with the elected students' body on the campus. Indrajit Kundu joins us with the very latest. Indrajit, give us the latest on these protests that one is getting to hear at this uh, university. What exactly is happening and where is the Vice Chancellor? Is he still inside his office? Well, Avantika, that's why the students remain inside office. It's been more than 20 hours, we can tell you. Since yesterday, when the Executive Council meeting uh, took place at the administrative building of the university, uh, the Vice Chancellor is holed up uh, in his room. Uh, the government, in fact, has uh, passed uh, a new rule stating that there won't be any, uh, you know, political interference or, uh, you know, political parties which, uh, whose affiliation would be uh, allowed to be used by the various students' unions, and mm -hmm. they are saying that. The student union uh, system will be replaced by a uh, student council, which uh, necessarily would be apolitical because we've seen how violent student politics has been on campuses here in West Bengal. However, Jadapur University students, uh, you know, unions of all the faculties, the engineering, the science and the uh, arts faculty, they have all come together combined. And since yesterday, they have been protesting outside the DC's office, stating that the executive council, which is the highest decision-making body of the university, must oppose uh, uh, you know, these governments uh, think that there should be a resolution that should be passed uh, in support of the students' demand that student union elections uh, be continued here. So it's a confrontation between the university administration and the students at this point in time. However, the Mamta Banerjee government remains defined with the state education minister categorically stating that they are not going to go back on their decision. Okay, so the students are unrelenting. Uh, they have decided not to go back on their decision. But Indraji, just tell me, what about the status of the vice chancellor? He's still in the office. Uh, I believe that he's been in there since Thursday. Uh, any attempts to get him out? Well, the vice chancellor still continues to remain holed up inside, uh, you know, uh, his office. Uh, I want to say this is not the first time that uh, such an agitation is taking place. We've seen it earlier as, as well in the past two, three years. We've seen such uh, agitation. What has happened here is that the vice chancellor said that, uh, you know, the uh, university authorities does not have the power to challenge a piece of legislation that has been passed in the West Bengal Assembly. Mm. So they are saying that they are not, uh, you know, entitled legally to challenge the state government uh, because it's a state-run university. However, the students are saying that it's an autonomous university, uh, you know, even though it gets funding from the state and by no means, uh, you know, this should be taken lying down. And they are saying that it's an assault on uh, the campus democracy and also they are saying that if a, uh, if a student council is formed, an apolitical student council is Form, they feared that uh, the state government would be using it as a proxy to influence students on the campus. So, uh, you know, a uh, confrontation between the state administration and Jamaica University Students Union here at the. Yes, absolutely. We're seeing the visuals there, Indrajit, of how these uh, students, these young students, are, uh, you know, sitting down and raising their protests uh, by clapping their hands. Uh, has the protest been peaceful thus far or what attempts are being made to uh, to ensure that the protest is called off and that, you know, there is some sort of dialogue between the agitating students and uh, the government? Well, Avantika, at this point in time, we don't see any that happening because uh, the state education minister has categorically stated that there is no question of going back uh, on the decision. The vice chancellor has also spoken, in fact, a memorandum was submitted by the students who, uh, in a sense, barged into the executive council meeting, which, uh, which had taken place yesterday. They submitted a memorandum stating that the executive council must support the students' movement mm. and must come out openly opposing the state government. Now, that seems to be happening at this point. Okay. The vice chancellor said that they are willing to take the matter up uh, with the state government, but can't assure uh, that uh, you know they actually have the. All right, we leave it at that. Induji, thanks so much for joining us. We'll keep coming back to you for further updates. Some more breaking news coming in.